What's up guys? How you guys doing? It's been a minute since I've posted anything. I am filming a video right now because I am on my way to go pick up someone and then after that I'm on my way to go pick up something super spontaneous and random. This is something this person's been wanting for quite some time. So, I need to go get some cash. I went ahead and I picked up the trailer. It's actually a tow dolly. It's not like a, you know, tandem axle trailer or anything like that. But, now that I got this sucker hooked up, we're gonna go ahead and swing by Nick's house. We're gonna go pick him up. That's my cousin for those of you guys who've never met him. I'll introduce you to him in just a second. I'm not really looking directly at the camera lens, so it kind of looks weird because I'm looking over to the side instead of directly at the camera lens, just because I'm not using a GoPro like I normally do. So, because I'm running my iPhone right now, I do apologize if I look like I'm looking awkwardly looking at myself instead of looking at you guys directly like this. But anyway, we're gonna get to Nick's house really quickly and I'll see you guys there so that way we can head up to go pick up the super cool surprise for him. This is Nick, for those of you guys who have no idea, don't be shy, Nick, it's just a little camera. <laughs> Anyways, we're currently here. We're gonna go ahead and get the money, make sure we got the count. As you guys can see, the truck is all the way down there. Like we're gonna go ahead. Vlogging. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pick up the car because I already got the trailer. Anyways, look at that dough. Look at that dough. Don't forget to practice your social distancing. So six feet, arm length, two arm lengths, and we're pretty much gonna be set. Let's head on over. All right, now as we're driving down, Nick and I are having a bro moment, and we're just kind of talking about how when I was his age, he's right now 19, he turned 19 not too long ago, April 19th. However, we were just talking about how like I've gotten dream cars and now we're going to get his dream car. I don't want to tell you guys exactly what it is, but I might have to because the sun is getting lower and we won't have that much sunlight. However, we're just talking about it, we're just pretty much freaking out about how we're going to build this car, we're going to put a roll cage in it, we're going to do nitrous. All-wheel drive. All-wheel all drive? Yeah. That's asking a Drag little. radials, everything, dude. Ooh, that, we're asking a lot. Anyways, yeah. we're going to head down there. This is just a quick update. We're passing Salt Lake City. We're going to all the way down to Logan, which is probably an hour and 20 minutes away from here. And uh, we'll, see guys, we'll see you guys there in just a second. We have a problem. We got about 30 minutes of sunlight left and we're about 45 minutes away. I doubt we're gonna be able to go ahead and get the trailer under the car for you guys to be able to see. So if I don't get the chance to show you guys, I do apologize. You guys will most likely see the car in the morning or you'll see us a quick sneak peek. I've got some light bars that maybe I can light up the car. But yeah, not gonna promise anything. Nick's just complaining over here talking about how hungry he is while I'm driving. I need some food in my belly. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see you guys in just a second. So, we went ahead and we trailered the car as you can see. It's Nick's first build, 1995 Honda Civic hatchback. Pretty excited. The owner of the, the previous owner of this car was kind enough to let us use his truck for some light so that way we can light it since there's not that much daylight. Obviously there's none. But yeah, super excited to get home. We'll see you guys in just a minute. Probably tomorrow we'll continue vlogging about this, but we'll see you guys soon. See you guys in the morning. Peace out. It is officially the morning and I'm currently here at Nick's house. I'm still using my iPhone film. Uh, as you guys can see behind me, we actually have the Honda Civic right there. We're going to start working on it today. He just barely went to go pick up his buddy, and we're going to start working on it. Today, my goal is to try to get the engine turned over, see if it starts. I went ahead and I pulled off the actual car battery from my car. That way, we can go ahead and see if we can start it. But let me turn, you, turn around and show you what I did. So as you guys can see, my car is parked over there. I yanked the battery out of it, and I got it right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my battery, and I'm going to go ahead and stick it inside his engine bay, try to see if it turns over. One of the bad things I noticed is right here where the timing belt is, it's completely ripped off, so I'm kind of worried. The guy that we originally bought it from mentioned that the engine head had warped or something like that. Um, and we're just going to see what's going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and put time lapse to see if I can get it started. So the good news is Nick and Cameron just barely got here not too long ago. Uh, at the moment, they ended up going over to... I haven't even videotaped you yet, bro. <laughs> I know. It was the first time you vlog. You're good. So, they ended up picking up a compression test right here, which we're going to test really quickly and take a look and see exactly what the heck is up with the motor, see if it's building pressure, um, compression, or anything like that. But we'll go ahead and videotape that really quickly so you guys can see exactly what it's running. Uh, the first two we've already done, one and two, they're running at 136. Um, pretty good. We want to make sure the other four or the other two, since it's a four cylinder, are doing the same exact thing, running the same one. 
Right, you're good. Just barely saw on the camera. It was running at 132, and Cameron had just barely mentioned. Could be because that side of the head is warped. As you notice, this one was 136, 136, 140, and then this was a, was at 130 to 132. They were mentioning that the whole entire engine had overheated. We're worrying that this had been warped, and because they've already filed the, the head of the motor, then it might just be warped on that side. Worst case scenario is we got to pull the motor, rebuild it, and that's completely fine. But today we just want to see if we can start it, and we'll kind of just go from there. So we'll get to that in just one second. All right, so we were able to get the wires on really easily. Nick's gonna go ahead and turn it over. That way we can capture the first moment of this thing attempting to come to life. Go for it, bro. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. No believe <laughs> I'm actually speechless right now. So we took we took the spark plugs out. Dude, three hundred dollars? Three hundred freaking dollars! Three hundred dollars for this, dude? Are you serious? Okay. Oh my god. I'm beyond confused to the max. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the other thing is that Nick ended up stripping the interior because he wants to rebuild it, and I'm pretty, uh, I'm stoked. I can't believe this thing wants to turn on. So the nice thing is that the motor turns over, it starts everything, but there's a whole bunch of white smoke. We're gonna let it go ahead and run for a minute. There might just be condensation built up of the exhaust or the uh, head gasket needs to be replaced because there's a lot of white smoke going. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but yeah. Unfortunately, we are unable to close the hood so that we can test drive it, see if it overheats or anything like that because the battery is a little bit too bigger. So what we've decided to do is we're Cameron's going to go ahead and knock out all four of these screws really quickly and he's going to take the hood off with me. That way you can drive it, see if it overheats or anything like that. We'll get to it really quickly. quick update um we ended up as soon as we started the car we ended up taking it to the gas station really quickly just so we could fuel it up because it was on empty and you could hear it sputtering not getting enough fuel inside of the engine to get it to turn over all the way we went ahead and we did that unfortunately as soon as we got there what ended up happening with the car is that the car started overheating and the coolant started spewing out of the top of the motor out of these this hose or around this area the other thing I noticed, we as soon as we started pushing it back, the boys and I got the chance to push it back really quickly. Uh, I went ahead and I took the valve cover off and I noticed the oil is really milky, which leads me to believe that coolant got inside the motor. The other thing, as soon as I was taking the uh, protective shield on the manifold, you can see there's a crack there and it was leaking. So I'm also thinking that it must have gotten so hot to the point where it overheated and it's going to need a new head and a new uh, gasket on it. But we'll see what happens. We're just ripping it apart just barely. We'll kind of keep you guys updated on what we got to do. Meantime, Nick is back here. So is Cameron. Look at that sexy hair. So good. Featuring <laughs> Kyoko. Featuring Kyoko. Look at that bod. Good looking. Ooh. Flexing my tits. Cleaning, <laughs> cleaning the interior. Nick was able to strip out the passenger seat. And we uh, inst reinstalled the passenger or the driver's seat. So that way we can go ahead and get it started and running. But yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. Alrighty guys, so I hope you can't hear any of the music in the background because I don't want to get demonetized. But we got the boys back here. They are working on the inside of the car, cleaning it up. It looks really clean. I put the valve cover back on just because I'm going to get going really quickly. Um, I don't want any kind of dirt getting in there. Manifold's still connected, but all the bolts are completely off, so that way I could just pull it out when I come back next time. We got the bolts inside the bags. I'm going to mark them up so that way I know that this is for the manifold, this is for the brackets. Um, just because I want everything to go back exactly how I found it and perfectly and I don't want any kind of problems with this motor because I'm probably going to be the one that's going to be rebuilding it and putting it together with the help of you guys obviously because you guys are going to be commenting like crazy down down in the uh, comment section below so if you guys like this build this is going to be the series part one part two is coming up pretty soon hopefully we'll be at the junkyard all three of us pulling a motor out of one of these suckers so we can rebuild it from the ground up since we have decided that we're going to be rebuilding the motor Without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you smash that like button. Hit the comment section. Let me know what's going on down there. And uh, subscribe if you guys want to. Make sure to keep your post notifications up. Work hard. Kick butt. And remember, never ever stop trying. Peace out, guys.